so hello guys this is video about how to create a DTO basically where we are going to use the DTO in our programming so first question is what is DTO DTO is basically nothing but a data transfer object and where we are going to use it so now let's look the slide so you should know it better okay so this is diagram I created for you guys so look at this there is a web android and ios means this kind of operating system or this kind of application we have so whenever we want to send a request to our java project so consider this blue uh, blue uh, square as a java so whenever you are sending the request to the java in the form of dto which is data transfer object okay so here you are implementing one converter basically so the main purpose of that converter is to convert a DTO into the entity because DTO is nothing but a DTO is used to connect with a network layer not to the database layer so I want to make a separate both layer uh, like I want to make the DTO or network layer separate and I want to make the entity layer separate okay so that's the one reason I need to follow that DTO to entity converter or entity to DTO converter pattern first reason second reason is that suppose you don't want to expose all your database related variable to the world so sometime happens that uh, hacker know that this type this kind of column you have and you can uh, and he can use to manipulate or maybe penetrate your system so if you don't want to expose your actual variables so you can use DTO here okay so this is second use okay so basically what happened so whenever request came it came to the uh, controller controller part and here we write one converter which convert DTO into the entity after that we pass that entity to the service service was in service we write any kind of logic and after that service communicate to the repository and repository store store basically that into the entity into the database this is the first flow this is the request flow so after that database give the response to the repository that yeah I save this entity or according to the API it um, database give you the response so after that he giving the response that I save the entity uh, and return back uh, and return you back the same entity because suppose for example we are hitting here save api so at that time it return you back the same entity so after that you get the entity into the repository first thing first okay so uh, whenever you get your entity into the repository you pass it into the service again perform some logic and pass to the controller here you are again implemented vice versa logic uh, which is nothing but called vice versa controller which convert your entity into the DTO once your entity is converted into the DTO it transfer to the network uh, to the network so of uh, means your uh, API is available to the network so anyone have the valid token or valid uh, authentication or authorization mm, token it can uh, whoever have it who uh, he can access his okay so this is example of student and student DTO basically so student have the this field like ID created date created time created by updated by name username and password and student DTO have only four field why this happen basically I want to exp I don't want to expose created date created time created by updated by to the real world I want to expose only, uh, expose only this field uh, basically uh, again I don't want to expose the password but I don't have any kind of choice because a DTO should be communicate with the network layer so we need to take the input from the user that uh, that is your password and I want to encrypt it and save it so that so for that purpose I need to put password field inside a DTO okay but while returning that DTO, I don't want to expose the password. So for that purpose, we use a mixin. I already created a video about it, how to use a mixin. So as per our PowerPoint presentation, I created one entity for the saving time. Uh, 
form okay so i have the same field like id created date updated date name username and password okay so these are the field i have uh, i already created one dto here which having the same field uh, that is four field okay um, so i introduce you student and student dto i didn't write entity or add to increment annotation here because it's a network field and we don't want to use any kind of database logic here okay so after that we have student converter which is nothing but a component so i am going to write a converter logic here after that we have student controller uh, where I, I want to implement this three api okay find all find by id and save okay and we already created the student repository which implements jpa repository so that much setup i already did and this is application dot properties where contain the database configuration and hikari cp configuration and uh, at last i am showing you my pom dot xml where where contain the basic dependency web lombok jpa mysql connector and test which is by default added okay so these are uh, this is the project setup i made okay so basically uh, i start with a controller or i start with student converter okay so i am writing one method here which take the input as a student and okay so and giving output as a student dto so method signature is like public which is giving you output as a student dto okay so student dto is output and method name is uh, entity to dto basically so that's why we need to pass it student entity here student okay so this is the entity i pass so what i am trying to do i am getting i am creating the object of student dto here basically which is returning dto is equal to new student dto okay so after that i want to put uh, all field coming to the coming to this student into the dto part okay so i am going to set one by one dto dot set uh, id okay so i want get this id from student dot get id now let's write the code which take the input as a dto and convert it into the entity so our signature should be like this now let's write same logic about the signature or uh, about the list of entity okay so means uh, when we get a list of student we need to convert it into the list of student dto okay so our method signature should be so what i do i can copy this method and paste it so i should save the time so what it take basically it take it basically a take a student list and return return the student dto list okay after that list uh, make the list of this so what i am doing i am doing the same i am copying the method 
and changing the signature of it okay now let's use that utility into the converter for that i am using auto add again I am created student converter here. So I am using same un uh, same utility. So it's a converter for the student. Okay. So uh, this is going to return you a list of student video, basically as per the rule. So for that purpose, I write a student DTO. We already have the repository here. So I am using repository student repository dot find all. Okay. So this repository return our uh, list of student basically. So I want to convert um, because we are returning into the uh, we are returning the student. We need to convert it into the DTO list. So we are already use. Uh, we are already write the converter to convert a list of uh, to convert a DTO into the um, okay so we write entity into DTO student DTO okay so we already have the code which convert the student into the DTO okay so we need to pass a student here which is find all okay so it going to convert into the list okay that's what for student DTO. Now I am again going to find. I am going to write the code for find by ID. So we have student repository dot find by ID. Okay. I already. Uh, I am using lambda or else. Uh, I am going to return null. I am not throwing the exception. I want to keep it simple. Okay. So it's going to return you a student. Okay, again we need to convert it into the DTO part. So again, I'm going to convert it into the converter with the help of converter. And we already have the utility which take the student as the input. Okay, and uh, convert into the DTO part. Okay, may I miss something? Uh, maybe not. Uh, entity to DTO so or else is the student maybe yeah I miss that okay I have to change the return type of the method okay and this method again return you the student DTO okay so yeah I have to copy and I am going to put it here once again Okay, so after that uh, we are using student repository uh, dot save and I am passing before passing we are not able to uh, pass the DTO directly here. So before passing it we need to convert it. So again here we are using converter dot we have the DTO okay uh, we have the DTO and we need to convert it into the student okay so basically i am passing dto and it return you the student basically okay so it's a student and whatever student we are converted we should pass it to the database so it can save there after that it return a student again so i am using existing variable okay so while returning that same student uh, okay, uh, okay so while returning that same student i need to again convert it into the dto part okay so here we pass the student okay so we are converted and that's it now let's test it run it first and test it 
have postman i'm opening this to this side and again opening it into the full form okay so first is local local host 8080 is the url and so first endpoint is nothing but the save so i am using same endpoint here so it is a post one we need to pass body okay so we need to pass dto here okay so data is in the form of raw which is in the json form okay so i am writing json here why i am not able to write okay because it is in text format to convert it into json now i am able to write okay so i need to pass name name is my pratik and uh, username should be tk and password is password and this is the mistake always happen okay and password is again password same keyword as a password so this is one of the weakest password anyone can hack okay so i am putting that request and yeah method not allowed save we have the exception maybe i write get mapping here that's why i need to change it to the post mapping okay now let's run it Okay, it's running successfully and let's run it yeah it's converted okay username is not saving maybe i misspell somewhere or uh, yeah maybe this happened okay so this kind of logic you can implement everywhere so maybe username is not properly mapped or not properly converted okay so this is the first thing after that i am going to saving again student1 student1 and username password is the same okay so yeah sending the request again so what i am sending here i am sending the dto and uh, return and what i get written back same dto so i am using the another api called find which take uh, id i am sending id 3 and it again you uh, again return you uh, 405 so it's a path variable and method not allowed is it path variable path, param, path variable yeah okay it is a post method that's why it's giving me the exception okay so it's a null i don't know why it's not mapped but i am not going to check it debug it check it again okay so it's written you the id even you not send it because it's generated by database and we are writing into the uh, into the dto part okay after that we have find all find all so again it's not working bad request why okay so we don't need to write find all to only write find all okay so that's what happened okay so this is how you convert dt into the entity entity this video is so long thanks for watching